Uh, WWDC is Monday. And the reason I say you're raining on my parade, Renee, is because you published an article on iMore saying don't expect any hardware announcements. Yeah, I said think software, I think was the weasel words that I chose for... Just in case. <laughs> pouring rain. Well, I mean, the, the thing is, like, it's really late in the cycle, so I would think that if hardware was gonna was ready on time, uh, we would know about it. So that's and the rationale, just, is we just haven't heard any leaks, in other words. I kind of asked about some of the stuff, and they were like, uh, yeah, we wish. So, you know, some of the yeah. stuff is really interesting rumors, but it just doesn't sound like it's ready for... It's either it's not in the pipeline immediately, or it's just not ready for right. WWDC. Right, right, right. Uh, how about uh, the Mac? It's not atypical, though. I mean, there have been many years where it's been an almost completely software-focused show. So while we have gotten things like iPhones in the past or new Mac Pros or new MacBooks, those are sort of bonuses. Uh, and there have been plenty of years where Apple specifically, you know, sort of let people know it's software only. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Remember the role of this event. It's, when we see uh, hardware announcements, it's usually because, well, they have the, they have the venue uh, already booked. They have the attention of the press. This is not something that necessarily they would book uh, 5,000 people to come in for, to go see. But so long as we've got, we need a place to show off the new, the new MacBook. We need a new uh, place to show off the new uh, Mac Pro. So we're going to do it here. So but if we don't, don't have you, anything you don't to say, there's, no, there's yeah. no real reason. Yeah. So and in other words, there's, there's, there's WWDC no, no will be what it you, is supposed to be and yes. nothing else, nothing more. Yep. And there's, they, I mean, some they, people are really frustrated with the lack of new Mac Pros because for them it's as simple as shoving a Skylake chip in it and throwing it out the door. Oh, no, we But know Apple's that. going not, for something more ambitious yeah. with this MacBook Pro, and that means that it's not necessarily Skylake constrained, but it could be OLED or Touch ID or any of several other new features that are rolling into it constrained. Yeah. So but, I, that could, but that can be that can be super frustrating uh, for Mac Pro customers because mm -hmm. for them, uh, for time literally is money. That's uh, getting uh, getting a, an hour job down to 52 minutes will actually save them, make them a lot more money. So they don't they're, they're not they're not they're not uh, uh, breaking down Cupertino's door saying please please if you have to take another year we want that <laughs> OLED strip around the side of it said so, no whatever you just put take to, go to the go to Best Buy I'll even <laughs> I'll even point to the row where they have these Intel chips I want you to buy that put it in there and give it to me because I want that you know you're, 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 sometimes people think yep. that uh, Apple's focusing on the wrong things uh, but in in the end they get to do what they want to do <laughs> well, isn't there a little bit of a risk, though, of a backlash? I guess it's probably good, and, and probably one of the reasons you're hearing leaks that there isn't going to be anything is it's probably good to uh, calm people down a little bit because there would be a backlash if we all go there on Monday and uh, and it's just, you know, oh, okay, new iOS, we knew that. New AI, it's better to ruin WMUS right now than to ruin it on Monday. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, there, there, is a, there is a lot of um, back-channel stuff that happens in the weeks leading up. Uh, sometimes I, uh, there's there's no way to uh, to prove this one way or another. I do believe that Apple tries to prime the pump one way or another uh, before the event, uh, just to make sure that if people are expecting amazing Titanic news so after Google I.O., a lot of people were saying, well, you know, I've heard that Google, that Apple's going to be announcing their own, like uh, their their own AI system that's four times as good uh, as Google's and it's got their, uh, their own home system that's even eight times better than this. And if then if they don't do that, then people who are not good writers have, wow, Apple failed to ship the ever the the device that everybody thought that they were going to do. So uh, it's not as though it's not as though there tends to be a, a, an attempt to control. But if we're we're all talking to everybody at the same time, and if there's an opportunity to quietly say. Uh, you, you were thinking about sitting this one out. You may want to actually pay the thousand or fifteen hundred bucks to come out to see this one, or to, to indicate that things are happening, but they're just going to be typical WWDC stuff without actually coming out and saying it. I do think that Apple sometimes tries to manage that. I've, I've got, I've had conversations in the past that were kind of in that kind of tone where I thought, just that's, that's an interesting conversation that I just had kind of out of the blue, but okay. Is, yeah, and for is me, there a risk though of, uh, uh, I mean, it, it, I'll tell you what, I, not having a new Mac Pro, you keep saying Mac Pro, and I know you mean MacBook Pro, but but the Mac Pro is also neglected. Isn't there a risk people are going to start saying Apple doesn't, like somebody in our chat room, Apple doesn't care about OS X and Macintosh anymore? They've been saying that for years, though. I mean, with the new MacBook 
with the new Mac Pro redesign, with the Final Cut Pro redesign, with a lot of the things that they've been doing with the positioning of uh, OS X server, they've been a, a long heading theme that Apple doesn't care about pros, that they care more about empowering mainstream users than they do about power users. I think the balance with WWDC, though, is expectational debt, because if we if everyone shows up expecting new MacBook Pros, new Mac Pros, new 5K displays, uh, and, and literally everybody is expecting that, and then none of it happens, regardless of what they show for iOS 10 or OS 10, 10.12, or why watch OS or tvOS, the whole story afterwards will be, oh, no new Mac Pros, no new MacBook Pros, no new Apple displays. Mm -hmm. So the expectational debt is tremendous, and managing that is tough. Uh, and I try before every show to sort of help set expectations, because the last thing I want is to be there covering a keynote, and every second comment is, oh, no, this, Apple's doomed, oh, no, that, this is terrible. <laughs> uh, and a lot of it, even beyond, you know, what Apple may or may not do with, with the biz pubs, there's just a lot that's logical that you can sort of look at and, and see, you know, what is a technology, what would it require to achieve the this rumor and does that seem like something they could do this year or is that something like uh, oh let's just have an OLED display well touch ID sorry um, 3D touch works based on LED so in order to have uh, an OLED display they'd have to re-engineer the way that works is that a short-term project long-term project you know how does that sort of logically fit in then I think we sort of help people set their expectations and maybe get a little bit of disappointment out of the way early on yeah